Welcome back Divas, it's your girl Tiggs, Beauty Queen 83 and I'm coming at you today with another edition of my new makeup releases, am I here for it or not? Um, and this is going to be number two. The first one seemed to be well received, it seemed like you guys like that type of content on my channel so we're going to go ahead and keep it going. So I won't be doing these videos every week but what I will do is every two weeks on Sunday you'll get an updated new makeup releases chit chat video for me so we can come and talk about all the new makeup um that i'm interested in or not so we'll go ahead and start with lubitin yes girl lubitin so i was scrolling through the streets of instagram and i seen that lubitin has some new lip glass and uh i don't even know how to pronounce it y'all and i guess i don't even want to um the packaging is very interesting as are all of the other uh, lip products Christian Louboutin comes out with um, but this is the new lip gloss and it's on the Sephora website online only and they have it in four shades and it's for $85 um, I just don't have that kind of money it's a stretch spending $30 on lip glass and you know I me mean? I couldn't even imagine spending 85 um, but yeah and that's gonna be a no ma'am I am not here for that at all and next and I noticed that Miss Bobby Brown has been busy. Bobby Brown has been busy, y'all. We have a couple of new products that we need to talk about first. She's coming out, or they're actually already out. And um, these are the Long Wear Sparkle Sticks. Nine shades, which is an odd number of a range to come out with. But okay. Um, but yeah, these Sparkle Sticks are $31 and how much product do you get let's see I don't know how much product you get but I know that it's a pearl infused eyeshadow stick um I'm gonna be here for this and I'm gonna tell you why because for summertime I want something that I can just put on and go and so for that reason I might pick up one or two of those sparkle sticks uh, $31 is quite steep that's why I must know how much product you get in each stick because uh, that will determine whether I get one or two actually I take that back actually it's gonna be on my maybe list so as we did last time it's either gonna be I'm here for it maybe or it's a no ma'am I am not here for that at all <laughs> like I said Bobby Brown has been busy honey because we have two or three new primers out on the market along with a setting spray in addition to a travel size version on the Sephora website of her vitamin enrich face base now I won't be using the vitamin enrich face base during the summertime but for me I would love to have that in a more affordable version um, for uh, fall and winter so the vitamin enrich face base is going to come in a half ounce pint half ounce pint what a half ounce jar for $20 and it is online only and it says that it's limited edition so you might want to go ahead and pick that up and just stash it for um, winter time okay so the first of the three promise we'll talk about is the radiant plus SPF 35 and you get 1.3 ounces of product and they are $38 it has an SPF of 35 and it says it's for all skin types and it's supposed to enhance the quality of your foundation and provide UVA and UVB, UVB protection um, and illuminate the complexion and blur imperfections. So that's cute. I don't need radiance during the summertime because I'm oily. So that's a no ma'am. Um, the next one would be the primer plus protection SPF 50. This is just a general uh, primer and it offers high coverage, uh, it offers a high UVA, UVB protection and it's good for all skin types. And it's a fast absorbing face primer that enhances the quality of your foundation while delivering invisible broad spectrum protection. The only reason why I'm kind of um, leery of getting my protection through primers and foundations is because you have to be aware of how much of that product that you would actually have to use in order to get that uh, protection. 
from it. So uh, I don't know. That's going to be on my maybe list. Actually, all of these primers are going to be on my maybe list with the exception of the Primer Plus Mattifier. Uh, simply because it does not have any UVA, UVB protection claims and it's good for all skin types and it's supposed to, um, of course, extend the quality of your foundation, controls oils, blurs pores, and helps balance the skin moisture level. So that is a yes ma'am. I am totally here for that. Um, so yeah, Bobby is doing her thing. Oh, I almost forgot one. Um, this is one that isn't necessarily good for my skin type for a spring summer, but um, this is the Primer Plus Hydrating 3-in-1 Setting Spray. It is 3.4 ounces and it's $34. All skin types, multitasking, mist that finishes makeup, provides hydration, and a healthy glow to the skin. Um, so yeah, all of these are available now on the Sephora website. So yeah. So next is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Um, it does launch on the Sephora website on June the 26th and it is for $29 and it comes in 20 different shades and yes ma'am I am all here for it along with the shade extension that um, Jackie Anna helped curate. I'm here for that as well. So you will get a review on my channel. I will be demoing the Born This Way foundation because I've never tried it before along with this new concealer. So yes ma'am, I'm all the way here for that. Okay, y'all, the next one is really, really hard for me. So we're gonna talk about Auntie Pat real quick. I am literally torn about these highlighters. I'm literally torn about the highlighters. But first, let's go ahead and talk about this Skin Fetish um, Highlighting and Balm Duo. I don't understand what the balm is about, but I'm not here for it. I don't want balm on my skin. I'm way too oily for that in the summertime. So it's going to be an all the way no ma'am. It's going to be an online only exclusive. It will retail for $48. I don't know how much product you get. But unfortunately, um, yeah, I'm not here, Pat. I'm not here for it. And you do get a brush in the collection. It's $25. Is it real hair or fake hair? Let's see. It doesn't say. It doesn't say whether this is natural hair or synthetic hair, but it does retail for $25, and it is also uh, online only. So as far as the lip fetish lip balm is concerned, it's on my maybe list. And the reason why is because it's in that cute um, Pat McGrath packaging, this one but in white and um, I love a good balm. I always could love uh, use another good balm. Um, however, these balms do retail for $38. It's just the standard amount of lipsticks you would typically get. They are gonna be online only and um, $38. And I don't know, I'm, I might pick one of these up. We'll see, I don't know, we'll see. Um, now, I, I honestly do not know about this sublime skin highlighting trio um it looks absolutely beautiful it's in the packaging that i love but honestly y'all i am literally only interested in the bronze nectar 003 that's the only one that i want i have no interest for iridescent pink or fine gold i do not want to be iridescent i'm way too grown for that i'm sorry but yeah um and i can't necessarily justify paying 50 dollars for <laughs> one highlighter and I might as well just stop that because this Dior highlighter that I have is $56. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's get that uh, highlighter and balm duo. That is an absolute no ma'am for me. I'm sorry, Pat. I love you, Auntie, but no ma'am. Next. Okay, so the new Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. I'm here for it. Um, I haven't purchased anything from Urban Decay with the exception of their uh, setting sprays and their eyeshadow primers consistently in years now. And I do think that it's time for them to come out with a bomb eyeshadow palette. And they they did that with the Born to Run palette. I'm all the way here for it. And I will most likely get it. You guys probably won't see it on my channel until, you know, pretty like pretty much like the second week 
into July, but I do plan on getting it. I am totally here for that, and I absolutely love the colors, the shade selection within the palette. It looks like it's very easy to use. Okay, so the next is another eyeshadow, pa eyeshadow palette, and um, it is Lorac. I do really like Lorac's eyeshadow formula. It is a very powder, a powdery formula, however, but I do still like it. Um, but I don't like this new palette they're coming out with. I'm actually quite disappointed. It looks like none of the shades on the top row would be woman of color friendly. It seems like a couple of variations of pale beiges, yellows, and browns on the top row and I'm just not here for it so I'm not even gonna waste my time I'm not even gonna waste waste too much of my breath so that's a no ma'am and on to the next one all right y'all next let's get into some Lancome um Lancome is a brand that I really do enjoy um they have one of my favorite foundations the tint adult uh foundation in the stick form and the liquid form um I love their genifique skincare products and just a couple of different Lancome products that I really enjoy but um they haven't really been publicizing a lot of their new products they just been popping up so here are a couple that are kind of on my maybe list um that I want to share with you guys because I think that they're exciting uh for Lancome and so they're pretty much all on my maybe list so let's just go ahead and dive into them so first we have some skincare products and the first one is the Rose facial scrub which y'all know I love rose it is currently on the Sephora website for $25 that's what actually prompted me to start doing research on Lancome's new products because those two products just snuck up on the Sephora website no one's been talking about it or anything so the facial scrub um I'm not here for that one actually simply because I don't use physical exfoliants on my face but if you do like physical scrubs, it is like three or four ounces, $25. That's a pretty good price for Lancome. Um, so yeah, um, I won't necessarily be purchasing that one, but I mean, I would suggest that you, you know, check it out. The next one is a rose jelly mask, and I think it's kind of like a sleeping mask, and it is $25 as well. It's on the Sephora website right now. Uh, I am here for that. I love a good mask, and I love Lancome, and I love rose. So what more could you ask for? So I might get that one. Next, this one really um, surprised me, honestly. This is the Fix It, Forget It Setting Spray Girl. Yes, Lancome came to play. Do you understand? Um, Lancome has a Fix It, Forget It uh, setting spray. It is 3.4 ounces. It does retail uh, for $34. That seems to be typical of setting sprays these days. I actually want to try it. It says an ultra hydrating antioxidant rich setting spray that locks in makeup for up to 24 hours. It says that it is a sweat proof, weather proof formula that extends makeup wear while delivering a concentration of hyaluronic acid to ensure that skin stays smooth all day. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm interested, even though it says hydration, which scares me, but I still want to test it out. And I do think that I will be able to use it during the uh, winter and fall. I, I can't land calm doing it, y'all. Girl, and then the next thing. They have a primer stick. A primer stick, girl. Can you believe it? It's called the Blur and Go Priming Stick. And uh, you only get 0.3 fluid ounces or ounces of product. Um, and it comes in the same type of packaging that the Tint Adult Foundation Stick comes in. And I'm, I'm here for it. It's a universal priming stick that instantly blurs the appearance of pores, fine lines, wrinkles, and other skin perfections. All right, so the next thing is a loose powder. Yes, ma'am. It is a new powder by uh, Lancome that is currently, all the products that I mentioned now are on their website, like right now, um, is the Long Time No Shine Loose Setting Powder. Yes, ma'am. It is a weightless powder that absorbs excess oil and smooths the skin. And if you are a oily girl, that is what you want. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised right now it is a weightless powder that absorbs excess oil and smooths the skin setting your foundation for an all-day wear 
It is available in two shades and translucent and deep. Yes, yes, yes. Um, they, they came to play. They came to play and uh, they covered their bases. Okay, Divas, just a couple of more uh, products. I want to go ahead and mention that a couple of companies decided to get on board and expand their shade range. And once, uh, and one of them is my beloved Laura Mercier. I honestly do love Mer Laura Mercier's products, or quite a number of her products in my, um, uh, from her line I love and I have in my collection. Specifically, the Flawless Fusion Longwear Foundation and the concealer. I absolutely love both of those. Y'all know that. Um, but yeah, so recently they've expanded their shade range on the Sephora.com website. You guys can go check it out. They might actually have your shade now. So I want to make sure that you guys uh, are aware about that because a few things people aren't really talking about. And I have literally heard no one mention these shade range expansions other than the Born This Way foundation expansion. Okay, but yeah, you can currently get... Um, there's like three or four new deeper shades in this foundation, along with that good old YSL All Owls Foundation. They have also expanded their shade range. Um, they have a variety of different shades, and they've actually added a number of deep shades to their range. So, um, shout out to them for waking up and smelling the coffee. Now, Laura Mercier, I want you to go ahead and add a few more shades to that long... Uh, long wear concealer as well because that concealer is bay and I want everybody to be able to use it so yeah I want to go ahead and make sure that I mention those as well okay a few more products first is the Morphe um, Jaclyn Hill collaboration eyeshadow palettes um, I think that there's gonna be four of them that's coming out you can get them all for like $50 $15 each or something like that um, but I have heard that they have been postponed. I don't know how true that is. I really haven't been feeding into any of that. I don't really have time. But um, I don't know if I'm going to get that or not. Because it's either I get that or get the Urban Decay Born Run palette. So it's either a toss up between the next is... Uh, actually, this is the last product on my list. And that is the Huda Beauty Baking Powders. Is that what you call them? Yeah, this is uh, the Huda Beauty and they're calling it easy bake easy bake um powders and they will be available on her beauty website on july the 2nd um the powder does come in eight shades and they're supposed to be a brush and they're supposed to be concealers which i have not seen any pictures of any of the concealers whatsoever so uh, i'm not quite certain about that but what i am certain is is that i will have that powder the shades on that powder look absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the, I don't know, either the Banana Bread or Blondie color and one more. I haven't made my decision on it. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but I do think that it's going to be in a 30-something dollar range. So somewhere between $30 and $38, I believe. Um, but yeah, trust and believe that when it does come out, I will have it. I'm very interested and um, what the powders are about. I want to bake. I want to see if it holds up to the test. And I really like the intensity, the richness in the colors. That blondie, the uh, banana bread, and all of them, the, the deeper shades. She really covered the bases on it. Like she did her, she did her job, um, did a really good job on those powders as far as shade range is concerned. So after Blondie, there's three additional shades, and so I'm here for it. She's uh, covered all the bases, fair skin all the way to your deepest skin can use these powders. So uh, for that reason, I am definitely here for it, and I will be demoing it on my channel sometime in July, and I hope that you guys stick around in order to watch that. I'm sure that the giveaway results are highly anticipated, and it's, my giveaway has ran for a couple of weeks now, but um, wait no longer because I'm about to announce the winner. Leticia Alexis, girl, it's yours. So just a reminder, this is the Lust Lip Gloss, and this is a Skin Show Warm, and this is first edition limited release. And it's sealed in its packaging. You're going to get Flesh 4, Bronze Temptation, Flesh Fantasy, and Gold Allure. Um, these lip glosses do have an 18-month shelf life, but I'm sure you don't care about that. But yeah, Leticia Alexis, girl, hit me up. 
hit me up on Instagram as well as my email address down in the description bar. I need your contact information so that I can send you your prize. Um, there will be more giveaways coming soon. I will have another one, but not until August. I um, haven't figured out what that was gonna uh, that one will consist of, but um, I'm open to ideas. I love giving back because I feel like you get it back in some kind of way. Um, that's just me. But yeah, Leticia, um, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for being one of my loyal subscribers. I really appreciate you. And until the next time, divas, I will see you later. Bye.